Many homeowners face common issues like iron stains, unpleasant odors, strange tastes, and potential health risks from contaminants such as bacteria, sulfur, and sediment. These problems can be overwhelming, but there's a solution. In this video, I'll guide you through the steps you can take to meet these challenges and ensure your water is crystal clear, clean, and safe throughout the house. From dealing with murky water to eliminating harmful pathogens, we'll cover everything you need to know to protect your family and transform your well water into a source of confidence and have peace of mind. Welcome back to the Clean Water Store. My name is Jerry Bolfin, WQA Certified Master Water Specialist, where we provide innovative solutions and knowledge to help you improve your water quality. Let's get started. Number one, let's talk about water quality assurance. Unlike municipal water systems, your private well is not regulated by any health department or EPA. So it's up to you to make sure your water is safe to drink. Thus, the quality of well water can vary widely and may contain contaminants such as bacteria, viruses, heavy metals, pesticides, and other pollutants. Treatment systems ensure that the water is safe for consumption and other household uses. Many thousands of wells in the US and Canada are safe and uncontaminated, of course, but it's up to you to make sure you know your particular well is free of these contaminants such as heavy metals and other types of contaminants. Number two, let's talk about health protection. Contaminated well water can pose a serious health risk to you and your family. Waterborne diseases like infections from Giardia, Cryptosporidium, and bacteria can result from consuming untreated water. Proper treatment ensures that your water is free from harmful pathogens protecting your health. Number three, taste and odor improvement. Making sure your water is clear, has no odor, and tastes good is important for the health and safety of your family. Well water may have an unpleasant taste or odor due to naturally occurring minerals, organic matter or contaminants, and treatment systems can remove these impurities, improving the taste, odor, and overall aesthetic quality of your water. Number four, preventing plumbing damage. A lot of well water can cause damage to your plumbing and appliances, resulting in corrosion, scale buildup, and premature wearing out of your appliances, such as water heaters and dishwashers. Well water often contains minerals like calcium, magnesium, and iron, which can lead to scaling and buildup in pipes, fixtures, and appliances. Treatment systems such as water softeners and filtration systems can prevent this scaling, extending the lifespan of your plumbing and appliances. In addition to protecting the actual pipes in your house, making sure your water is not corrosive and not going to scale and build up the minerals will go a long way to extending the life of your water heater and your appliances such as your dishwasher, um, shower doors, fixtures, so it can save a lot of money over the long run if you do have water that is scale forming or full of iron. Okay, let's talk about well water quality and how to understand well water quality versus city water. A lot of us grew up on city water and just took it for granted that the water is always safe, treated by the municipality, and you don't have to think about it or worry about it. However, on well water, it's particularly a private well, there's no one regulating it. You're not regulated by EPA or the local county health department. You're sort of on your own to make sure your water is safe and good for your family. And the way to do it is by regular water testing. Having your water test on a regular basis, at least once a year, is very important to make sure your water is free of bacteria, nitrate, and other contaminants that could be in your water. So let's talk about some common well water contaminants and issues. The first one, and one that the EPA recommends testing yearly for your private well is bacteria, particularly coliform bacteria. If you have coliform bacteria in your well, then there's a chance you could have E. coli, which is very harmful and means your water, your well is under the influence of surface water. Something's contaminated from the surface because coliform bacteria doesn't exist naturally in groundwater. The other problem that can happen is that if your if you well does test positive for coliform, you could be at risk for other uh, diseases that could result from parasites such as Giardia and Cryptosporidium, which also exist in surface water from animal contamination and can seep into your well water if your well is not is not a well constructed deep well. The next main set of contaminants are naturally occurring contaminants. These would be metals such as iron, manganese, heavy metals such as arsenic, could be lead, other types of uh, naturally occurring contaminants that are from the ground, uh, such as radon gas and other contaminants that are could be harmful to your health or destroy your pipes or fixtures, but are naturally occurring. 
And the last main group of contaminants we think about are man-made contaminants, such as from agriculture and industry. So very commonly, base amounts of pesticides, herbicides that are used in the agriculture. The other thing that can happen is that if you're near a gas station, a service station, there can be leaking fuel tanks, uh, which is not uncommon. Or if you're near a mining area, there could be mine runoff. Working with the industry can sometimes contaminate local groundwater. So in addition to having your well water tested or testing it yourself with a test kit or taking your water to lab, the first step that we often recommend for folks is a physical inspection. So what you're doing there is you're running water into a white bucket and you're observing the clarity of your water. You're checking for odors. Say, for instance, you're buying a new home or you're remodeling or you're trying to figure out what's going on with your water. Then you want to see is the odor coming. If you have odor, it's coming from the well or is it water smells okay from the well but it's coming from the pipes in the house which is not uncommon so you can easily figure that out by doing a physical inspection of it in addition um, it's a good idea to look in your toilet flush tank so uh, we have a, a chart that our, our customers commonly use where it shows like okay based on what i see in my toilet flush tank here are some possibilities that might be causing the contamination if, it, if you look in there and it's red or it's orange or it's pink or it's black or it looks totally clean, then you, it gives you an indication because that toilet flush tank has been, unless it's brand new, has been getting all the cold water. So we actually have a physical inspection checklist that you can follow. And I put a link to it in the description below. So depending on where your well is located, whether you do live near agriculture industry and or you're in some remote area, you'd want to have your water tested regularly. It's a good idea to have your well tested at least once for a full spectrum of bacteria, pesticides, herbicides, heavy metals, and general mineral. And fortunately, the price on this has really dropped lately, and there's professional labs where you could, they'll send you a kit. We have them on our website as well, where it's get a kit sent to you, and then you can send it to the lab, certified lab, and they do a complete analysis. It's a good idea, and you can just write it down, keep a little track of it, and then you can see, are there any changes? Hey, my water's getting saltier, my water's getting harder, or my pH has changed. That way you can have an idea of what's going on with your water over time. And if anything's going on, you, you'll know about it in advance. And we have these easy well water test kits where you, just, you can just go to our site and pick one up. This gives you the ability to test multiple times for common contaminants and you can know your pH, your total of solids, your hardness. Just click the link below and head to our website and you can pick up one of these test kits. So knowing your water chemistry is important because it's not only about health and safety, it's also about protecting your plumbing and appliances. Your water may be perfectly safe, but it could be full of minerals or metals that might build up in your pipes or say your pH is low, it's that the water is acidic, it could corrode your plumbing or cause corrosion in your water heater or your dishwasher. So it's a good idea to know your basic water chemistry and become familiar with it and then you'll know what's going on in your own well let's talk about protecting your well so it's a good idea to locate your well whether it's in a vault or whether you can if it's on top of the ground you can physically see the top of your well um, it's a good idea to look at it and make sure that the top of it is not cracked or open that there's no open uh like say wires coming out or sealed or if there's a pipe it's, it's sealed there's no gaps or cracks because you don't want any kind of even insects entering the top of the well. We've seen cases where even earwigs or ants can can walk across the you know the barnyard or walk across the yard and drop into the well and cause positive coliform readings. So you just want to make sure the top of the well is sealed. Of course, it's a good idea to have your well inspected professionally as well. If your well has if you don't know your well driller or well contractor, it's not a bad idea to have your well tested or you know checked at least once to make sure that it's all safe but generally you can tell by looking at the top of your well if it's open or cracked so once you've done your physical inspection and you have your water chemistry report and you do want to make some improvements with water now is the trying to figure out what type of system do you need of course there are many types of systems um, if your water is hard then it's hard enough then you'd want to have a water softener or, or a sulfur-free water conditioner depending on the water chemistry or if there's iron, you need an iron filter. Or if there's bacteria, you need to 
service the well, make sure there's no more source of bacteria, and then you can either get an ultraviolet sterilizer or a chlorination system. So there are many types of systems depending on what the actual contaminants are, and there's not one treatment system that does it all. So for instance, if you have arsenic, an arsenic filter will not remove iron necessarily. So there's other, sometimes folks will have like one or two types of systems to handle if they have multiple contaminant issues, which is very common. To make this easier to deal with, we've actually made a simple quiz, which get, breaks down and gives you a report that you can easily go over and, and decide which way to go. So just click the link in the description below, take the quiz, and in a few minutes, you'll get a PDF report that'll help you understand your water a lot better. So oftentimes people are wondering, hey, what are the benefits of well water treatment? Well, it really breaks down into three main areas. One is, of course, health. You want to make sure your water is healthy. It's not causing any long-term problems. And two, it saves you money. If you do have, say, super hard water, or um, say you had water that has a lot of minerals built up in it, your water heater will wear out quicker and it will cost more to heat your water. So you can literally get direct cost savings from water treatment systems, depending on your water chemistry. And thirdly, I would say the, um, having peace of mind, knowing that when your in-laws come to visit or friends come over, or you have, if you have young children, that you just know the water is safe. You, you know the water isn't gonna make anyone sick and the water is not going to cause any long-term health problems. Also, by knowing more about your water, educating yourself about your water chemistry, you'll have peace of mind because you'll be on top of it. I've covered a lot of material here and it may seem a little complicated. And that's why I've created a series of videos that go into a deeper understanding of each of these topics. Click the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you there.